Hello guys and welcome to another video on Marvel Contest of Champions. Now this will be EQ 1.2 and we'll be doing the easy path in the Thronebreaker difficulty. Since this is the easy path, the basic nodes will be active on this one, Occult Equilibrium, Siphoning Strength and Power Overwhelming. Now every time a Mystic Attacker will gain a regeneration effect, that is any kind of regeneration effect. Now Guillotine, the original Guillotine has a basic ability known as Life Siphon. So every time she deals a damage to the opponent, she will gain a life steal of 3%. So how it works is like every time you do damage, so you will be power draining the opponent. So because of this, this path becomes quite a cheese for Guillotine because all she has to do is attack and if you get the opponent in a corner, you can continuously spam heavy and this complete path will be a cheese for you. Uh, and only champion that may cause a little bit of problem will be the, sec uh, the last champion before the boss fight which is Hit Monkey. So I'll see you in that fight because all other fight will be a simple cheese from guillotine.
in this fight uh, hit monkey has a property that he will gain evade and uh, shrug off mechanics every time he is knocked down uh, the actual name of the mechanics is i think monkey scheme or something in that scenario but what we have to be careful about is every time we knock him down we have to make sure that uh, he does not evade our shots and also uh, be careful about that evade in the corner other than that we will still gain our passive fury charges from the life steal node so it won't be much of a problem we just have to be a little bit careful about his evade Now the final boss for EQ 1.2 is Taskmaster and the notes on Taskmaster are Enhanced Special 1, Professors in Crime, Compelled Dwell, Thunderbolt and Termination Contract. Out of this, the two notes which are very important to be taken care is Thunderbolts, the current exploit weakness target becomes unblockable and Termination Contract gains a 30% chance to evade against the current exploit weakness. So whatever exploit is active, we have to try and avoid using that move, whether it be SP1, mediums or light or any of the attacks, because that will have a chance to evade by 30%. And I'm using Storm Pyramid X because her SP1 has an anti-evade mechanics because she will inflict a passive slow on the opponent. So I thought it might help a little bit. Other than that, it's a seven star. So her basic attack itself is very huge. Now right there we can see him evading because we used the move that was the exploit at that time. So now the exploit is SP1. So all we have to do is avoid using SP1 until that complete green bar goes away. Now I was trying to see if exploit weakness also tells us what kind of exploit is active at that time but I didn't find that. So you just have to be careful about the exploit and see exploit medium so we cannot use medium attacks also uh, there is uh, another node compelled dwell so if you are close to the opponent while he is ex uh, executing his special attacks you will be rooted at your spot so you have to be careful about that because at close combat you won't be able to evade his sp1s or sp2s so that was 1.2 Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.